Hi and welcome to another Fractal Audio XFX tutorial. Today I will show you how to update the firmware of the XFX2 and the MFC 101 using the new software from Fractal Audio called the Fractal Audio Bot. This software was especially written just to update the firmware of these two Fractal Audio devices and it's very comfortable. Along the way we will also update the Fractal Audio MIDI and audio driver, USB driver and update the presets. So firmware 10 sounds like it should. For this to work we first have to download some software which we will do using the site g66.eu. Here I have the site g66eu, just enter it in your browser. Then you have to go to support Fractal Audio. We need the following software. The XFX2 firmware version 10.11, this is the most recent software. Then we need the Fractal Audio bot. I choose it for OS X because I have a Mac. It works the same way using Windows. Then we need the new USB MIDI and audio driver which was released in June 9th 2013. So it's relatively new. If you do not have it installed already use the new one. And then we need the new XFX2 preset banks for firmware 10. In addition you need the firmware version 2.18 of the MFC 101 which we will update later. This is all we need and we will now download them. Okay, we now downloaded the software and um, I unpacked all the zip files to the folders which I can do on Mac OS X by simply double clicking them. But the first thing we're going to install is the XFX2 USB driver setup 167. We now successfully have installed the driver and the next thing we are going to install is the Fractal Bot. So we now have installed the Fractal Bot and that's all that we have to install on the Mac. The other files are just accessible from the Fractal Bot. We will now start the Fractal Bot and start updating the XFX2 first. I have now started the Fractal Audio Bot and there are some simple steps you have to follow. The software is really well written and is almost self-explanatory. First step, select device. We will choose the XFX2. It automatically detects that I have the XFX2 connected via a USB cable and chooses the right MIDI in and out ports automatically. Next step, I have to look where the firmware is, which is under downloads here and then XFX2 
10p11 and I have to choose this file. The others are grayed out so I can only choose this file. Open it. It's loaded. If you have an older version of the firmware of the XFX2 installed, it may be necessary to put the XFX2 in firmware update mode, which is done the following way. Press utility and then scroll the page to this one where it says version 10.0. Press enter to start the update. If you have version 10 already installed, you don't, don't have to do this. Okay, just in case you need it. We will now start the update by just pressing begin. You can clearly see that the computer and the XFX show a status bar which indicates the, pro the progress of the update. Now we just have to wait until it is finished. Very important thing, if the computer is finished, the XFX sometimes is not finished yet and you will have to let it do its work before you restart it. If the computer is finished and the XFX is finished with the update and the XFX shows this little text here, you can switch it on and off and the update is complete, which we will do now. To check if the update really worked, we will now use the utility mode to look what firmware version the XFX is displaying. It says here a version 10.11, so everything worked just fine. Before we update the presets of the XFX2 to the firmware 10 ones, we will now back up our existing presets. And this works the following way. It's very easy. You go to the Receive tab in the Fractal Bot and make sure everything is set right. XFX2, XFX Media Out and so on. Then you choose a place where you want to store the presets and then you press Begin. And then you can choose what you want to back up. I have only one bank I want to back up. This is bank A. So I deselect everything else. And press OK. And it will now back up my bank A. You see the progress bar here on the computer and on the XFX which indicates that the backup is in progress. Okay, it's done. Bank A has been backupped and saved and we are ready to send the new presets. As I have many presets under Bank A, which I programmed myself, I do not want to override Bank A yet. So I just will update bank B for you to see how it works and you can update the other banks just like that. To update the presets in the XFX, you go back to the Send tab here in the Fractal Bot. Then you go to Browse and you select your, for example, bank B, open it and then press Begin. The Fractal Bot now asks you where your destination is. So you can write the bank B to bank B where it belongs or you can overwrite bank A or you can overwrite bank C. I choose bank B here and press send. And it now updates the presets in the XFX2.
Okay, that's it. Transfer complete and we have updated the bank B in the XFX2. You can do the same using all banks and you can do the same using bank E or bank C. This is the same when you want to restore your backup presets. So we are done with the XFX2 now and next thing we want to update the firmware of the MFC 101 using the XFX2 as a MIDI interface. As I know many of you don't have a MIDI interface on their hands and don't want to buy one just to update the firmware of the MFC 101. And good news is you can use the XFX2 to do this. You just have to follow some very important steps. What you need to update the MFC 101 is either the power supply that was included in your MFC 101 package or you can use the Ethernet cable which you normally use to connect the XFX with the MFC 101 just for the power of the device. You cannot update the MFC 101 using the Ethernet cable. You have to use a MIDI cable, a standard 5-pin MIDI cable. Otherwise, you will run into problems. Okay. I will show you updating the MFC 101 using the Ethernet cable just for power on of the device. Not for the update, just for power, in case you have lost your power supply, which sometimes happens to musicians. For the XFX to work as a MIDI interface, you have to make some changes to some parameters. Press the I.O. button on the front panel, then via the page switches, go to the MIDI page, and then you have to change two parameters. The first is Send real-time SUSX, which has to be set to none. And the second is USB adapter mode, which has to be switched to on. So send real-time SUSX to none and USB adapter mode to on. Don't forget when you finished updating the MFC 101 to put these parameters back where they were. Now we will update the MFC 101 using the XFX2 via the Ethernet cable as a power supply and sending the SysX file to the MFC over the 5-pin MIDI cable. For this to work we have to power off the XFX, switch it off and then connect the Ethernet cable in the normal slot. And the MIDI cable to the out Output of the XFX2, output MIDI out, then connect the Ethernet cable to the MFC 101 and don't attach the MIDI cable yet. Leave it there. Then press foot switch 1 on the MFC 101 and switch on the XFX. The MFC is now in firmware update mode. Wait until the XFX2 has booted up completely and then connect the MIDI cable to MIDI in of the MFC 101. Now you will use FractalBot to update the firmware. Therefore you have to go to the Send tab and choose MFC 101 and select as an out port XFX2 MIDI in. It's a little bit misleading, it should say MIDI out, but who cares. Then you go to browse and you select your MFC 101 update file, which is here. Open. Then you press begin. It asks you something and uh, just to make sure that you have done everything right, but if you follow my instructions, you have done everything right. And then you press send and wait for the update to finish. You see the progress bar here, no problem at all.
the MFC 101 now tells us that the firmware update is complete. Now you will do the following. Unplug the MIDI cable and then switch off the XFX2 and switch it back on again. Wait maybe five seconds and then switch it back on. We will now go to the edit and the setup menu and press back the page and we see firmware version 2.18 so the update was successful. Now don't forget to switch back the parameters in the XFX2 in the I.O. panel, MIDI Send real-time SysX to all and USB adapter mode to off. And we are finished for today. I hope you have learned something and thanks for watching. Bye.